Welcome to Eek Soon Dragon here be dragons. So the Pelosi video is out and instead of quashing all the conspiracy theories or proving them correct, it seems to have just, well, raised a lot more questions. However, I think that if we take a look at the video, all the answers are contained within. So I'm going to try and answer a couple things. Um, there's, I think, two main things here. And um, I think we do have some answers to them. Um, there are a couple of the small ones. So if you haven't watched the video, go watch it. I'm not going to play it again because you've all probably seen it several hundred times already. Um, there is a link to it in the description, so you can head off and watch it now if you haven't. So the first one I've seen raised is people are asking what the two beeps are at the start of the video. Is this some thing that they forgot to remove from the studio, some sound stage effect? And no, that is the tone that the Axiom body camera makes when it's activated. Pretty simple. The next question is, who opens a door? Because it appears as though the door just opens by itself. So people are still going on that there must be a third person there. And I think I can show that there's no third person and what's actually happening. And then the next thing is, why are they smiling? So. We're gonna try and answer that. So first of all, the door. Now, this is an expensive house and it's an expensive door. Now, as we look at this here, the door handle here, this isn't a turn knob. This is one of those with a bar and with a latch on the top. And expensive door, I assume it's well oiled and it opens really well. I've had a door like this, you might have too. One of those doors you just barely open and they just open by themselves. They can get really annoying at times because they're always just opening. Now, that's what I think is going on here. Now, let's actually take a look frame by frame and see what we can figure out. Now, I've got this enlarged right now um, so we can see it better, but I'll reduce it in a bit so we can take a better look. So, let's take a, let's focus on the door right here as it opens. What we're going to see is only the pappy here, okay? This is only the pappy. He's got his right hand on the door having just uh, clicked it. I think maybe he was just gonna open it part way. And Pelosi is not involved here yet, or he's just getting involved. I think he might be able to see his hand here. Um, it seems like either he was standing there or he walked up. And as the Pappy's opening the door, we're gonna see right here, you can see black from Pelosi's arm shoot out. And he's taking his chance now to grab onto that hammer. At which point, the Pappy is not holding the door anymore, and the door is just doing what the door does. And it's gone on a ballistic trajectory, and it's opening. We can see in between the door frame here, and there's no one hiding there. There's no guy in a green suit. There's no shadow. I mean, if they did all this in CGI and stuff, it's done pretty well. So, let's go back and look at this again. I see as it opens, it looks like they were both standing apart from each other. And about right here is when Pulsey's arm shoots out. This is the arm right there. His arm shoots out and grabs on that hammer. Because, well, the police are here. Why they both open the door together, I don't know. Judging by the 911 call, it sounds like he was trying to tell the Pappy or make it seem to the Pappy like he was being friendly and he was just going to tell the police that it was a mistake and to go away, hoping the police would catch on. It sounds like what the 911 call was. I might be wrong. I'm going off memory, but that's my assumption. Either way, here they are. The Pappy decided to open the door. Pelosi was either there with him or he's walking up onto him now. And hey, here's the police. I'm going to go for that hammer. So that's what happens. Now, um, actually, we take the take it down a bit. Um, it's a little bit better quality if we reduce all these uh, pixels down. And you can see his hand right there. There's the arm. So right as he opens this door, now the hammer's in the right hand. And the right hand's opening the door. So right as he opens it, He's getting that hand yanked away from the door as Pelosi grabs onto it. 
All right. Now, as far as the smiling goes. Now, the first time I saw this, I too was like, why are they smiling? I thought maybe he was trying to appear disarming or something, but that's, that's not what happened. I want you to take into account a couple things here. First of all, the body camera is worn on the chest, so it's angled upwards. Okay? This isn't mounted on their glasses or anything. You aren't looking through their eyes directly at them. You're, you're looking upwards at their faces. So when you're looking that way, what you're going to see most is the top teeth. You aren't going to see the bottom teeth at all. It's going to make everyone kind of look like a rabbit or kind of look like they're smiling. Now, the police also have flashlights, which reflect off teeth quite well. And when we see top teeth, we tend to imagine a smile. Also, there's video compression here. That's why it looks so blocky and stuff. The way the compression works is that to reduce size so that we can all share videos quickly, the video takes information from all the pixels that's repeated in every frame. And instead of including that in every frame, it just kind of gets rid of that info and just kind of states that in these frames replicate this color in these pixels. That's the basics of it. But that's how you get some strange things happening in videos. So let's take a look at these smiles. So the door is going to open here. There we go. Now at first, he's looking like he's going to say something. And we've got here, the Pappy. As we look here, it looks like he's got a smile on. Looks like he's smiling. But as you're going to see here real quick, no, he's not smiling. Now he's, he's trying to grab on this hammer right here. Look, first of all, Pelosi has just grabbed onto the hammer as George opening. I think he's a bit surprised that this happened. And then, so now he's going to try and get the hammer away. He's going to grab onto Pelosi's arm. And then the flashlights are going to come up. Yeah, I think Pelosi is just looking at the cops like, hey, he's got a hammer. Hey, you see it? Hammer. Now, so we look. He looks kind of happy like he's smiling. And then the light hits. That's not a smile. Smile. No smile. Smile. No smile. This is just video effects, not really seeing things correctly. Let's uh, come over to where people think Pelosi's smiling. Yeah, here, with the way the lighting is and stuff, it looks like Pelosi's got a smile. But as we're going to see as the light hits him, he's not smiling. He's just got his mouth open, and the light is reflecting off those teeth. And with the angle of the camera, you aren't seeing the bottom teeth at all. When you watch it quickly, like I said, exposed top teeth. Tends to look like a smile. This is actually, I think, a grimace. He's got his mouth open. He's just got shined with a bright flashlight. He's trying to keep his hammer from hitting him. So, let's see here. Again, we can see there's no smiles there. This is just, mouth is open. Those top teeth are reflecting that light. And here, nothing, and now, even here, when you watch the video the first time, it looks like a smile, like maybe they're, a lot of people think they're play, like, acting here, but when you slow it down, you can tell, this is not the face of someone smiling, not at all, and then we all know what happens, so, let's, uh, come back here, um, you know, let's, uh, take the, take the quality down, some so we can try and look at it so it's not so zoomed in and uh we're still going to see basically the same thing here at first what appears to be a smile when we look at it is not same here he just got his mouth open uh, yeah it, it kind of does look like a smile at first especially here when the lighting is not perfect. Again, a lot of this is from the compression. It's not showing everything here because the color is just being repeated, so you're not getting any real detail until the light comes in. So let's zoom in here again. And we can see. Smile, no smile. Smile, no smile. So that's what's going on here. No one behind the door, and they are not smiling at all. As far as why are they in shorts, well... 
it's two in the morning or so, and this is San Francisco. I live in San Francisco. I wear shorts all year round. I get up and go grab some coffee at five in the morning. I wear shorts. It's only it's probably only about fifty in the morning. It's having been raised um, in Chicago and stuff. It's uh, it's not cold for me at all. Most people wear shorts. It's nothing strange. So that's why things went on. As far as why did they wait so long and withhold the video, I don't think they did. Now this is my guess from watching other uh, trials recently and from just what I read in the court records. It seems like when a crime happens, they tend to try to hold on to any video evidence until the investigation is done and then the trial or the trial is done. Now, I guess the reason they do that is so that the footage isn't aired publicly on the news nation or on the news networks where it's normally taken out of context and turned for whichever side, you know, of the news that you're watching. So they have their own narrative and you're not going to get the whole video. So anyone watching this is going to be swayed by that, which makes it really hard to find jurors. And reading through the court records, the Pepe's attorney had asked for the video not to be released because he thought that his client would not get a fair trial. But the judge, you know, decided differently. Now, the judge did not order them to release it. He didn't, like, force them. Oh, you can't be hiding this. You must release it. It was just a court order saying, no, I agree that this should be in the public domain and it should be released. So that's what I think happened. Um, from reading, other people think that they were trying to hide it and the judge forced them to release it. You know, you can believe what you want, but that's what I think happened. So hopefully this cleared some stuff up. Maybe it hasn't. If you still want to believe whatever, go for it. Hey, you know, it's your head. But if you have any more questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. But have a great day.